Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make school activated CSS3 animations. Uh, so first of all, let's have a look at what we're going to be building exactly. So uh, here we have some web page and as you can see as I scroll down and I reach certain point, this heading and paragraph flies in. So ref let me refresh web page and show it to you one more time. Yeah, as you can see, beautiful. So here we start. Here we will start with a basic HTML document as usual. And first of all, let's place a div. Give it a class of content. And this will only serve um, as you as you saw it. These two uh, gray blocks just so we can actually school our web page so next thing is place a div give it a class of about and actually we will need uh, another class it will call it will be called hidden and we will remove this class once we reach a certain point so these two uh, can be shown so first of all let's place our heading and write this is heading and also a paragraph and here we will just copy some lorem egg dips and text let's paste it right here and that's it for our HTML let's get into CSS so for first of all as always let's make a basic reset so our margins and padding to zero also i will set a different font family for our body a font weight font family uh, if you don't want to you don't have to do this so way away area next thing is let's target our con content and uh, for this I will only set a height of 600 pixels and you use a different background color of E0 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 that's a light gray color next thing is our about element uh, we will set its maximum width of 600 pixels and center it using margin auto and also we need to give it some breathing room so we will set a top and bottom padding 100 pixels and those next two uh, properties we will set are just to so that we can render these uh, elements in 3d space so they are not rendered flat so first one is transform style preserve 3d and uh, also transform and we will give it some perspective of 800 pixels we also need i will set some basic styling to this h2 element uh, I will transform text to uppercase letters uh, give it some different font size 50 pixels and reduce the uh, font weight to 400 next thing is we need to set some transition properties to are about and paragraph elements because we are going to use CSS3 animations to to show these two so transition will target all all properties over uh, 800 milliseconds and easing function will be ease and next thing we will target about the class of hidden and right here we will 
hide our elements by default when the page loads so we'll set opacity to to zero and give it some transform properties first one is translate 3d we want to basically move this element uh, towards us so we will set 400 pixels and this is a translate basically z property so we will we'll translate it over a z axis 400 pixels and also we need we will rotate it uh, by y axis and we'll rotate it by minus 40 deg or degrees and first of all let's set our opacity for now to one let's refresh our page yes this is the effect we are going to have and let's highlight it copy paste it because for a paragraph we will have a similar um, properties we'll all, we will also translate it but we will rotate it in a, another direction uh, yes let's refresh it have a look at it so far so good let's hide these elements by setting opacity to zero yes uh, and the next thing is we'll we need to deal with our our jQuery so first of all let's set some variables uh, first one is we will say our about element to a variable so div with a class of about next thing is about l offset and to this variable we will set we will save about elements offset top uh, so about element dot offset dot top and we'll divide it by two and 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 this this value right here uh, will tell us at which point uh, to trigger these animations right here and in this case this property uh, will be will be 300 because our contents height is 600 and as you can see we only have one content element right here above our about element so and we divide it by two that means this this right here will be equal to 300 you can also if you like to you can just hard code it in like this 300 but uh, I will use this approach so last variable is document L and we will say document to a variable and as the user scrolls the web page we want to trigger this function right here so uh, first of all let's we need to set the functionality in so we need to use an if statement so if uh, document elements whoops scroll top is greater than this value right here which means uh, if user has scrolled more than a 300 pixels and our about element has class of hidden will target about element and remove this class so remove class of hidden let's save it scroll up refresh this one scroll down as you can see and when we reach a certain point uh, these two fly in with a nice animation let's refresh it have a look at it one more time excellent so as you can see as you saw this wasn't so hard to make and 
if you want to you can experiment with different CSS3 properties translate rotate and and then so on to make even cooler animations uh, so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time bye